Hi, everyone. My name is Rajesh Viraraghavan. I'm an assistant professor at Georgetown University. I'm here to introduce my paper that's been accepted to CSCW uh, 2021. The central focus of my paper is to understand how digital technology mediates work relations and power dynamics within a bureaucracy. In particular, I'm interested in understanding how technology can play a role in solving what is referred to as last month problem in implementation. Good designs uh, do not always lead to good implementation when particularly there are asymmetries of power. I examined this question based on, on an ethnographic field study one of the largest employment programs called the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, NRDGA, in India, which guarantees 100 days of labor for any rural citizen. Well, there has been a lot of excitement and experiments that use this technology in solving problems of governance. Studies that include Enrega focus on outcomes and assess impact. In this paper, I add to studies that look at mechanisms I examined the implementation of Enrega in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh, the red portion marked in the map, where I examined the tussle between the bureaucracy, the higher level and the lower level bureaucrats, but the high level bureaucrats are typically the state to the district level and the lower level bureaucrats at the uh, mandal and the, and the village level, they're also usually typically referred as street level bureaucrats. This paper is based on an ethnographic study, as I mentioned, where I spent 18 months in the field, performing a number of roles, um, tried to work as a day laborer, worked as an auditor. Uh, methods were participant observation, interviews, structured and unstructured. The paper kind of talks about the limitations uh, and the benefits of, of, of a study like this. Couple level bureaucrats, a solution uh, within quotes to this last one problem was to centralize control over the implementation of Enrega and to eliminate any discretionary power among the street level bureaucrats. The upper level bureaucrats sought to control Enrega through a particular um, political and technological vision that was focused on controlling documents and work processes. The fundamental premise of such control was that the upper level bureaucrats thought the monitoring of sub subordinates would lead to a better compliance uh, within the rules of the system. In particular, I show how the struggle for power has shifted to the digital terrain where changes in technology allows the upper level bureaucrats power over the street level bureaucrats, but not as a one-time fix, but as an iterative process that I call governance by patching. Broadly, the governance by patching is three features, stop down, the patch sender is at a higher level that is has jurisdiction over the patch receiver. It's fine grain changes. Patches are extremely specific and make focus change to policy. And it's an iterator. The patches are repeatedly authored and sent based on new realities. They're part of a continuous cycle of fine grain changes to the implementation. I borrow the term from software patching, so from software development, explicitly focus on the socio-technical and political processes around patching to understand how digital technology mediates work relations within a state bureaucracy. In software development, patching refers to the ongoing need to maintain software systems by continually and routinely fixing problems. Patches are bits of code targeted to fix specific parts of a larger software system that are not functioning as Originally planned. Patches are fundamentally incremental fixes rather than one time solutions, whether it's applied to software systems or systems of governance. Very study. While patches in software refer solely to technical changes, the process of altering the rules of a government program requires both technical patches and a fine grained ability to respond to local conditions through new administrative processes. Governance by patching is therefore neither a purely technical process nor an exclusively administrative one, but rather refers to the ability to fix unanticipated problems that arise in the implementation of government programs by altering the socio-technical systems. Paper is situated uh, as a process of building inf informational infrastructure 
there's a lot of work with CACW on it. The one big difference in this paper was the focus was the motor of changes through contestation and conflict. The paper focused on tracing the changes to technology and mapping how these changes affect bureaucratic relations. It shows how upper level bureaucrats designed digital technology to control the street level bureaucrats, how they were resisted by the street level bureaucrats and the subsequent reworking of socio-technical systems by upper level bureaucrats to deal with those resistances. In essence, the cat and mouse game, the title of the paper between the bureaucrats. Patching helps us see how technologies impact work relations by iterating on small details. While each patch may have a limited local significance, the cumulative impact of such continued engagement will be transformative, or potentially transformative uh, in fundamental ways, particularly when there is asymmetry of power, which is the case of most development programs. I hope the paper resonates with scholars and practitioners interested in the use of tech and development and in particular, how data and tech can be used by government with asymmetries of power. I hope this article gives you a framework to think differently about the role of tech. For people who are interested in information infrastructure, this will give you, a, hopefully gives you a novel extension of thinking about building infrastructure to include contestation as a process of building this information infrastructure. I want to end with a plug. My work that's part of this paper is going to be published as a book uh, by Oxford University Press. Um, it's available for uh, pre-order. It's um, right now. Thank you for uh, listening and hopefully you read that paper. Thanks.